What's up, everyone? Valley at Brand here. So in this video, what I want to talk about is, is it too late for PulseX? Is it too late for Pulse Chain, right? And is it too late for Hex? Well, the answer is no on all of those. But the thing that I will say is I would not personally recommend sacrificing for Pulse Chain. We're going to go over in just a minute or two. I want to make this succinct and precise, but we're going to gonna, sorry, <laughs> going to go over in a minute or two the actual from day one to where it is as of 15 hours ago, the actual multiplier that's going to be against you, which is the botting curve. Okay, so without further ado, let me just share the screen right here. Uh, whoops, right there. And why not get the uh, the normal background there? So let's go over to the screen here. So first off, I just want to say uh, congratulations, Richard. We've got over, or you know, you you and the community, right, has done over nearly almost a billion dollars in sacrifice for PulseX.com for freedom of movement, which is really awesome. Let's scroll down here and just see, you know, more than half of it is Hex, which is also pretty cool. Um, as Jeff with Crypto Kindness had mentioned, right? that uh, hexagons know how to hold. And I mean, those of us that have gotten a 10,000 X and more than a 10,000 X to be honest, uh, because that doesn't include the staking, right? And the big payday and et cetera. Um, we kind of know how to hold and we know how this works. And especially with something like PulseX with Pulse Chain that are both deflationary. So let's get back down here. So what we can see, January 10th is when the bonding curve had started right? And it goes up 5% per day and it kind of compounds on itself. We're going to scroll up just a bit and see uh, from this video, which is call it, uh, you know, 30 minutes before midnight PST time, Pacific Standard Time. We've got about 16 hours and 28 minutes before the bonding curve, you know, you know, ratchets up another 5% and compounds on the previous 1.28. So once again, let me just zoom in a smidge here. Alrighty, zoom in a smidge bit more. Okie dokie. Let's read just a little bit of what's going on. So uh, after that, a 1.75 X flat volume bonus activates for the next five days until the sacrifice phase ends. Um, so, you know, there's the points that you're sacrificing for, and then there's possibly a sacrifice, uh, sorry, uh, a sacrifice like a uh, multiplier, uh, a flat volume bonus, it says. So that might be something that we get or don't get, kind of just depending on the circumstances uh, and various different amounts for each person. Uh, current rate per 10,000 points, $1.28. So that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Now, what I want to do here is once again, just scroll down just a little bit and we can see. Uh, so February 25th is when the sacrifice uh, phase for PulseX completely ends. So please, please. One second, let me do, please, you know, for the love of God, please, you know, go to pulsex.info and research how to do this properly. You know, it's, it's one thing if it happens to one person, but I guess so many people have been sacrificing to the wrong address, have been doing it from their exchanges out of, say, Ethereum and things like this. And, you know, Richard had said that they've got uh, a couple of months to kind of figure things out. But I really wish that, you know, Richard's a very nice guy and a very kind guy and considerate to let people still get their sacrifice and still get their points is what it seems presumptually, um, as opposed to just not getting any points at all for not listening and following instructions. So when we come back here, once again, please just understand what this means for the sacrifice points. So each day per dollar, you're going to be getting less amount of points. Okay, when we come over here, give me just a second. We're gonna go to twitter.com. Uh, whoops, let me try that again. I pasted it over the previous uh, URL. Uh, so anyways, the financer says Pulse Double Report, you know, January 13, 2022. We're gonna scroll down here and click this. Okay, so as we can see, um, you know, for, for this day, it was about uh, $1.22 multiplier from uh, sack day one right the price itself is let's see you can kind of see the difference between day one and today 
this was once again uh, 15 hours ago. Okay, now when we go all the way over to Pulse Chain, this is once again why I personally wouldn't be recommending uh, to any of my friends to be getting in because you can see from day one, the multiplier is you know 5,911. And so that's a significant difference from where we're at with four days versus 178 days you know, since the sacrifice phase had ended. And Richard decided, okay, well, people are still sacrificing. So instead of them trying to FUD the project pulse chain, I'm just going to give them the points if they had done it properly, right? But then they're getting less points because the bonding curve has still applied 5% per day. So once, we, uh, once again, we can see that the bonding curve started uh, July 20th, uh, 2021 for Pulse Chain. And for uh, Pulse X, it's January 10th, 2022. So um, I know Maddie's talked about it. I know a lot of hexagons have talked about it. Um, if, you, if you haven't done so already, might not be a bad idea, right? Before other people uh, continue sacrificing or before that bonding curve really, uh, you know, kind of goes against you and starts to look something like the pulse chain bonding curve. Uh, this is what you don't want right here, right? That is the least amount of value per dollar sacrificed. And you, you want to get to these things early to the punch before late to the punch and then have there be no punch. Okay, so I guess we'll end it uh, in just a couple of seconds. Let me go to, let me just delete all of this real quick here. I don't want any lines on the on the Uniswap chart. One second. Okay. okay one more second here. So Uniswap.hex.vision, we're going to remove this. Uh, we can see right now the price is uh, 23.5 cents. Okay, so when we scroll in, this is just on a weekly. Let's change it here to the daily right here. And once again, um, I mean, the actual bonding curve, it said, started on the uh, the 10th right here. And you just don't want to be messing with this, right? You've got the price that it sacrifices at, uh, give or take 30 minutes. Richard said there might be a, a time-weighted average price, you know, about 30 minutes from when you sacrificed, or it might just be the exact time of the ether scan that you sacrificed from. Uh, but the point is, is, hey, if this price goes down or if it kind of stays the same, either way, you've got the bonding curve working against you. And so I know so many people that sometimes they try to, you know, trade and kind of do what's best, what they think is best. And sometimes it's out of the, you know, form of greed. And as opposed to just doing what, what Richard has talked about and what personally I have found successful, which is just to sacrifice as early as possible. So that's where we're going to end that there. Uh, let me come back here. So just like with hex staking, right? You want to, if you're going to stake and if you're going to be a part of, you know, having hex shares and receiving some of the inflation from the penalties and the inflation that it has annually, then you want to do so as soon as possible versus waiting later because with either PulseX or Pulse Chain or something like Hex, they all kind of have a bonding curve. So Hex's bonding curve would be the T-share rate. You know, how many Hex does it take to make 1 trillion shares for Hex for when you're staking or 1 billion? You know, it's all kind of similar in different ratios. But what we do know is similar to the Pulse Chain and Pulse X bonding curve, the actual T-share rate never goes down in the form of Hex. So even though the price might, you know, might fluctuate uh, up and down a little bit here and there, that actual amount of hex that you have to pay for one T share or one trillion shares or one B share, it's always going up. So that's kind of the unique game theory within it. And the people that are staking, they're already earning that, you know, trustless yield every single day for the days that they're staked. So that's pretty much it. Um, once again, it's not too late, in my opinion, to sacrifice for pulsex.com. So you can go to pulsex.info. Um, either way, when you go to pulsex.com, it'll lead you to pulsex.info. And then when you go to pulsex.info, vice versa, right? Just a little bit below it, it says something about pulsex.com. And so you can kind of click back and forth. Uh, you can see how much was sacrificed. And then also pulsex.info is where you go to sacrifice uh, for the pulsex, okay? So once again, cheers to everyone. Um, if you're seeing this now or seeing this even in a couple of days, you're still early. Think about it this way, that the token itself 
what I mean, once again, I wouldn't recommend for Pulse Chain right now, but for Pulse X, uh, you've got something that's going to be completely deflationary, and you've got something that, although it's not guaranteed that the buy and burn is going to work, um, that you know, uh, wh whoever controls that address is going to do so. Uh, we know that it's not automatic yet because I don't think that technology exists right now um, before really finalizing that it's secure, similar to something like Hex. You want to make sure that it's secure before you launch it. Um, but Richard had mentioned uh, during the Hexpo.online that, hey, at least watch what the address is going to do that gets those tokens from the fees, right? And do we see it do a buy and burn? That's kind of, you know, to be determined. But what we do know is, hey, there's uh, no expectations of work from others and et cetera that Richard has always kind of gone by. But I love to see the vertical integration um, being built, right? Richard doesn't necessarily talk about things uh, before they're created, but, you know, mostly after that they're created. And that's because he wants to make sure that you know, everyone has a good experience and that he's not giving, you know, promises and expectations. So really looking forward to all of this. Once again, go to pulsex.info, read what a sacrifice means, right? Understand that, hey, if you're sacrificing today, whether it's for, you know, Pulsex right now, and you're waiting for the chain to actually launch, the Pulse chain to launch in the future, just understand that that's not something that you're going to be accredited right away, right? Um, so when you're sacrificing, read the website, the pulsex.info, and you're going to see that, once again, it's going to launch once Pulse Chain launches. And who knows? It's been two more weeks, or sorry, two more months, just like in Hex, it was four more weeks. And so the thing that we do know is that Richard is beating Ethereum 2.0 to launch. We know that Vitalik had mentioned, hey, you know, Ethereum 2.0 might not even be ready until 2028. So what are we going to do for six months, or sorry, six years, you know, just, you know, sit on our thumbs all day? No. Um, hexagons have been paying a lot of money to miners, which is a racket. And it's disgusting to be honest, because, you know, there's, there's cheaper fees available. There's cheaper solutions available. And to think that all of this money, once again, I know someone, and I know many hexagons that have spent, um, probably over a hundred thousand dollars each, right. And Ethereum fees. And guess what? That's just going to a miner, a proof of work miner, Ethereum miner, just so they can sell it for electricity. Well, I mean, that doesn't really seem very good on the environment, does it? You know? So with Pulse Chain, I'm really looking forward to the proof of stake and it's gonna be awesome. Richard's always, you know, thinking on his toes and he's always trying to develop a better solution, right? I think it was a, a company that he had had a long time ago. He had mentioned it at least once in a story, I believe. <laughs> you know, I don't think I'm imagining this, but. Uh, I think he said the company was named like Efficient Systems, something like that. And it's awesome to see Richard uh, not only creating something like Hex, which is a smart contract currently on Ethereum, but now you're going to get a damn two for one if you get uh, the Hex on Pulse Chain before the actual snapshot. So the snapshot hasn't happened yet uh, to all of our knowledge. And what an opportunity and what a time to be alive. So I want to say uh, thank you to everyone. If you do have any questions, you can go to uh, PulseX.com, PulseX.info. Um, otherwise, you can go to the Telegrams, right? And there's a PulseX. Uh, um, I don't know what the actual one is. It might be like t.me slash PulseX. Let me just see. One second here. Yeesh. <laughs> don't go to t.me slash PulseX. Uh, I will make sure it might be t.me slash PulseX.com. One second. Okay, cool. T.me slash pulse, uh, sorry, uh, slash pulse xcom. Those kind of get confusing, I'll be honest. You know, whether it's the Richard Hart win on Twitter or whether it's, you know, Richard Hart or whether, it's, you know, pulse X, uh, com. So, anyways, pulse xcom, that's where you're going to go for the Twitter information if you have any questions. Uh, once again, always verify, never just completely blindly trust someone. Uh, even if you feel like you have a relationship or trust with them. So always verify when you do sacrifice, I would, you know, double and triple check, right? Um, so you're not causing someone a headache. And so you're possibly not, you know, uh, getting something that you thought you're going to get. You should really double and triple and quadruple check. 
the address before you click the send button. And some people even recommend a test transaction, right? Copy and paste the actual address that you're sending to, maybe send a dollar, two dollars, whatever the small amount for the test transaction is, and then do the full amount. Uh, that's just something that people practice as well. So once again, uh, you are your own bank, so you're responsible for it. There's no daddy government that you can call to revert a transaction. It's a blockchain. So just, you know, please do the research. Uh, please ask questions. You know, don't feel that, uh, you know, there's many stupid questions, right, when you're sincere and when you're kind of doing your own research. Uh, once again, PulseX.com and PulseX.info and t.me slash PulseXcom. So I'll put all of those in the description below. Thank you.